Now, I like to keep an open mind on things, but for the life of me, I cannot understand what the CAQ is saying. It's like they're speaking Ferengi. Now, on one hand, the Legoists are trying to tell some Quebecers what they can and cannot wear. By the way, note to Francois, you can't tell a federally appointed judge how to dress. The key word here is federal. It would be as if Legault didn't like the hats the Mounties wear and try to get rid of them. Well, forget about that. It is so telling that the CAQ, before anything else, vowed to put those religious people in their place, while at the same time keeping the crucifix depicting Christ's passion in the legislature. No, it's not a simple cross. It's a constant reminder that Quebec is of Roman Catholic heritage. Now, the thing is, the crucifix hasn't been there forever. It was installed in the 1930s by Maurice Duplessis to seal the deal between church and state. Now, this is what Legault says. I think it's part of our history. I don't see that as a religious sign. I see that as being part of our values. Well, there's the V word again, Quebec values. This is getting so tiring. And instead of Quebec values, how about human values of decency and common sense? Tell me, what really is the difference between a teacher wearing a hijab and a teacher wearing a habit? Now, I am sure that Mr. Legault and his cronies would find a way to find one acceptable and the other not. Because you see, in the land of pure len, all religions are equal, but some are more equal than others. The thing about our incoming premier is that he always seems to want to pick a fight. Yes, sir. I'd like to have an argument, please. Certainly, sir. <laughs> have you been here before? No, this is my first time. The CAQ has a long list of grievances it wants to address with Ottawa. Now, Legault thinks he has just landed at a federal all-inclusive and can't wait to see the buffet. Now, here's a partial list of demands from the CAQ program. Bill 101 to apply to federally regulated businesses. Complete control over immigration. More tax points for Quebec, fewer for Ottawa. One tax form administered by Quebec. And Quebec's approval in naming Supreme Court judges. And that's just the beginning. Legault and his band of pseudo sovereignists will no doubt try to pick away at Ottawa's powers until there's no meat left on the federal bone. We've seen this movie before, and the ending never changes. Well, recreational pot becomes legal in a few days. What could go wrong? My guess is that there will be quite an adjustment period as employers and law enforcement and others try to figure it all out. In Montreal, the plant administration is making a mistake, I think, in allowing cannabis to be consumed under the same rules as tobacco. We will no further restrict the consumption of, consumption of the use of cannabis for non-therapeutic purposes on public property. I don't know about you, but I really don't want to smell wafts of pot when I'm walking down St. Catherine Street or in Old Montreal. And I'm sure most people don't want their children inhaling in public places. Now, some cities and boroughs have come up with some sensible restrictions about where people can light up and where they cannot, like public parks and green spaces. But the plateau-based Politburo obviously has decided otherwise. Well, not that Projet Montreal would ever ask for public input. Not really their style. They just talk the talk. I'm Barry Wilson. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out our weekly poll on Facebook. We want to know what you think.